Hello again. Um, right now I'm going to show you guys how to do Nadine Love 27. It's a really cool card trick. But it is slightly difficult. Um, there are some slides you need to be able to do and be able to not be able to flash what you're doing. So you have to have good angles so you can't be like showing them like, oh look what I'm doing. So it, it is challenging but it's a really cool trick. So let me get started. Um, there's no setup at all. You don't need to remember any cards or anything. Um, but to start off, you just take out the two black queens or any two cards that you like. You can use two red kings, two aces, something like that. Um, and if you have magic, use the two black queens. And uh, so I just use the two black queens. Um, and then you start off the trick by doing a Browry reversal. Um, and you do that, you get a thumb break underneath the top card like that and then you take half the cards move it to the top and take the rest of the cards and move them to the top so all the cards are face up except for that indifferent card right there and then what you do instead of spreading it out and then end up possibly revealing that one you can say instead of s spreading this out I'm going to do it differently and so what you do is you break off half the pack and you keep this one because this has the indifferent card on it and you start peeling cards off like this you hold it in a bit over and you start peeling cards off like this tell them to uh, say stop whenever they like and since there's two black cards you can say um, preferably a red card because there's already two black cards there and you just keep going on whatever card they want you just keep going blah 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 and they say, say this is up right there the seven of diamonds and then you do a double undercut and you get this card to the bottom so what you do you get a pinky break um, move half the uh, pack to the um, to the top, keep that break, and move the rest of the cards to the top. So then you have a different card and then their card. So then you just flip over the deck and say, okay, I'm going to use these two queens um, and they're going to find your card. And what you're doing is you need to get a pinky break underneath the top two cards. But since you can't just go like that because you can end up flashing um, the indifferent card, what you do is kind of tilt your, your, um, your, uh, your hand sideways so they can't see and then kind of get the break. What I did was I kind of just um, I kind of used my thumb and just got the two cards like that or you could I don't know, just some way to get a pinky break underneath the top two cards. Any way is fine. Um, but preferably do it like that. Just turn your, your hand to, um, into you and slide over two cards and get the break. Just anything not to reveal to them what you're doing. And then you grab the two queens, oops, you put them on top, and then you steal away those two cards, the indifferent and their card. And then what you do is you take off one of the queens, kind of hold it like this, say, okay, we've got the two queens here, and then you flip one over, and then you flip this one over, which is actually three cards. But they don't know that. So you flip that over, and you say, okay, just a stab my fingers, or wave my hand, whatever you want. The uh, two black queens find your card and what you do it's not really a different card and a queen but they think it's a queen so what you do is you out jog the uh, their card and then you kind of square it up so it's like this and then you show them the one queen but don't flash the indifferent card because then that will kind of give away the trick so kind of square it up say um, the two black queens have captured your card and then when you're doing this showing them that kind of catch a break underneath the top card just slide it over like that and then you square it up and then you steal away that one extra card that you got the pink bird underneath which was the other queen then you say okay I'm going to flip it over and as you can see it was just an illusion and then you show them that there's no cards in between the queen and be careful when you're taking off these two cards because if you go too far you could flash in a different card so just go like that be like there's no card in between the two queens and then this part to finish cleanly because right now you have their card face down and, and then different card face up you say okay well you might be thinking where's my card I mean, you also could be thinking oh it's somewhere near the top and so what you do is you take a few cards from the top and flip them over and then you say well you'd be wrong because it's not near the top and then you f um, slide through like this and once you come to the first face down card you stop because this was the indifferent card and their card is next so you don't want to keep going like this and then go, oh, crap, and it kind of mess up the trick. So just kind of go slowly with it. Just go like this, but like you might think 
to the top, but you'd be wrong. And then once you get to the first face down card, just flip them over. And you can take half the cards or whatever, put them down, and say, okay, you might think it's near the bottom. Fan through, show that it's nowhere near the bottom. And then you just put this back on top, and then you think, okay, well then where can my card be? And then just slide it out, and then it's right there in the middle, face up. And that's it. That's how you do Nadian Love 27. Really cool trick. Um, I hope you. I hope I helped you in learning this trick. And uh, so yeah, um, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.